So as I was trying to remove the biofilm off of my patient's teeth, right, the cord was so stiff, like I felt like I was fighting the cord and fighting the bat. It was just, it was too much. Like my shoulders hurted at the end of the day and I was just like, no, that office is not the right one for me because no, I don't see myself working here for a long time and then like, or an office like that. And in two years I'll be in crutches because my body will be destroyed by it. No, sorry. The cons of being a traveling dental hygienist, okay? Um, first of all, I don't think every office um, celebrates New Year because some of them are still in the 1940s, I would say. Yeah, with their instruments, their paper charts, their... <laughs> Someone told me, Karen, you don't know what you're getting yourself into when you're a temp because you don't know the office. And I was just like, uh, duh, I'm getting into hygiene. I'm well-trained and I, I think I can do this. But I didn't realize what they were saying until I jumped into, you know, the temping world of hygiene. So yeah, they canceled on me this morning, which is not good because I could have taken a job earlier this morning. I could have accepted a job because when I woke up, I saw that there was this office that needed help, um, which is like not too far away from my house. I could have easily accepted a job, but because I knew I had a temp assignment, I didn't accept it. And then when I showed up, they canceled. So that's one of the cons of being a traveling into hygienist. That's the first con is cancellation with a specific um, temp agency. Not all of them are like, depends on how the culture is in that temp agency. Some offices will test out that temp agency. They can see that they can cancel from them. If the temp agency is not gonna, you know, charge them any money, they're gonna forget about, you know, letting them know ahead of time. But the other temp agency that I worked for, there was never such thing like frequent frequent cancellation. I just started out with this new temp agency and I'm seeing frequent cancellations, which I don't like. So I'm gonna not accept jobs from them anymore because that's like, that's too crazy for me. So the first con of being a traveling dental hygienist, I'm gonna start out is job cancellation without, you know, um, advance notice. So the second con of being a traveling dental hygienist, you know, you guys know I got you, you know, um, everything, five cons, no real benefits. This is another thing, this is another reason why I want to find a permanent position. There's no real benefits, okay? Um, like, where's my 401k? Where is my health, dental, vision insurance? Like, where, where all, where's all that stuff? Plus, I'm like, you know, going everywhere and doing everything that a normal hygienist does where's my benefits so yeah even certain places that you apply to be a full-time hygienist they don't have benefits like great benefits either so yeah you gotta find that unicorn office someone told me karen you don't know what you're getting yourself into when you're a temp because you don't know the office and I was just like uh duh I'm getting into hygiene I'm well trained and I I think I can do this but I didn't realize what they were saying until I jumped into you know the temping world of hygiene um you really don't know what you're getting yourself into some some offices may not have the best equipments they may have doll equipments okay doll instruments which is something that I've, that I've experienced um, x-ray heads that are like floating around when you try to take an x-ray which is not good leaky ceilings like I had an office where like I had to move because water was literally like dropping like on my head it was literally raining inside it like it was ridiculous um, small rooms okay you're not gonna get the best room in the house because everyone else is gonna take the best room so you're gonna find the room that nobody wants which is usually a small room that's not a hygiene room it's usually like an office room like a dental room but I just put you in there because they need you to do work um, stiff hand piece cord so as I was trying to remove the biofilm off of my patient's teeth right the cord was so stiff like I felt like I was fighting the cord and fighting the bat it was just it was too much like my shoulders hurted at the end of the day and I was just like no that office is not the right one for me because no I don't see myself working here for a long time and then like or an office like that and in two years I'll be in crutches <laughs> because 
my body will be destroyed by it. No, um, sorry. Like the equipments that you're working with, sometimes, oh my God, some archaic dental offices that don't change or renovate their office, they have like archaic everything, okay? They still have dental charts, they still, uh, sorry, they still have paper charts, they still have those same old, really, really tiny instrument, um, the handle, right? It's still like this small. Right now, you know, you 3D made it this thick, they still have the ones that are like this small, which is not good for your hands. Like, you gotta save your money makers, <laughs> which are your hands, okay? You gotta protect it. Good, ergo, dynamic, and protect your hands. Like, if I go to an office and by the end of the day my body hurts, I'm not going back to that office because it shouldn't feel that way, you know what I mean? Especially because I make a conscious effort to keep, you know, good posture because I want to have like a full like a long career you know so if I go to an office and my hand hurts at the end of the day I'm not going back because it's not the right fit for me and I don't plan on compromising my body for it um another con parking um speeding <sighs> parking parking meter okay um some offices will say that there's available parking but you'd have to feed the meter and the worst thing is worrying about you know a parking meter while you are caring for a patient it's like the worst like running every two hours or every um ha every hour to feed the meter i don't it drives me crazy i'd rather focus on patient care than doing that so call i would say to solve that problem make sure you call ahead of time to know exactly what the parking situation is okay especially if you're going to an office if you're going in town, don't even don't even try it. Leave your car at home, take an Uber. But if you're going, um, you know, somewhere, you know, the suburban area or like I don't know, but somewhere you know you will find parking, just call ahead of time just to be sure. Um, and another thing, like patients can be not so nice to the new girl because especially if you look young. They think you don't know what you're doing. They think you're, I don't know, you're not qualified for the job. Um, just let them know that you're old enough and qualified enough to do your job. Otherwise, the state would not have allowed you to have a permit. Okay, just have your permit handy and show it to them. That's the only thing I can say. At first, like the first few weeks, like I took it, <laughs> I took it too hard. I was like, oh my God, they're telling me that I don't, but it, it's, it's not smart. Like it's just. You know, just because you don't look a certain way doesn't mean you, you're not qualified. Like, I do a good job, okay? <laughs> anyway, like, don't let these people sweat you. Let me make sure I have everything that I wanted to say that was a con for being a temp hygienist. Yeah, I think that's all. I'm gonna do the pro because the pro of being a traveling hygienist. Because, um, I was talking to a classmate yesterday who I ran into because I attempted at an office Saturday um, she was basically asking me why am I why was I still tamping after you know all this time I'm like I truly enjoyed it believe it or not except for you know these past few days because I've been tamping for another temp agency which has been you know not so great because the one before is kind of like they're going through this change i guess they don't have as much job so that's why i applied for the other temp agency um so yeah hopefully that transition you know is over quick and i can you know work for them as frequently as i used to but at the same time i'm thinking about finding a full-time permanent you know job so we'll see um that's it for the t um con video i'll be i'm about to make the pro right now Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons. I wanted to start out this video by talking about the pros because I really loved being a traveling dental hygienist. I've been doing it for almost a year now and the reason why I, couldn't, I did it for so long is because I truly enjoyed it. But I'm going to start this video with the cons because I'm currently experiencing one of the cons of being a traveling dental hygienist. So I walked in this office this morning, I was supposed to be working. They canceled as soon as I walked in. They were like, yeah, we met to call you. Yeah, and they were just like, yeah. And then 
um, I called the temp agency and they told me they're gonna pay me minimum wage, three hours of minimum wage, which is not enough, but whatever. If you guys know that th about there's something else that I could do, let me know in the comments below. That'll be helpful because I I know for sure it shouldn't be just three hours of minimum wage, but I gotta Google it and know what I need to do for sure. Um, somebody just sent me a message.